Hey there again, everyone. Tom Funk here, author of 50 Hikes on Michigan's North Country Trail uh, in Wisconsin and Michigan. Hey, I did a uh, tutorial video recently on how to use the North Country Trail's website and their trip planner. Uh, it was widely received, and uh, I thought I would do yet another tutorial video on one of my favorite topics uh, that I see popping up in a lot of our hiking forums. Uh, and I will jump over to the Michigan Hiking and Backpacking page where I uh, used to be an admin. And uh, also, I think I was one of the founding members. I'll have to maybe ask uh, Jeff or Chris about that. But anyways... Um, I would say when I was admin, the number one answer or question that we got was, where can I disperse camp? Very common question. And I don't know if you knew this or not, but we actually have a files section. And if you right underneath and on your, if you're on your cell phone, you kind of kind of swipe a little bit to the left to find it. But in, under the file sections, there's all kinds of cool stuff that people have created, uh, myself included. And one of the very first documents that was ever created is this one right here. Where can I camp in a dot, 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 dot? This is a document that tells you about dispersed camping. So you click on that and a document will open up and... Uh, uh, you can see, uh, here you go. And just uh, real quick about dispersed camping, since uh, we're here, I might as well kind of cover it. Um, you'll see we've got some uh, definitions. You know, modern camping, what does that mean? Semi-modern, so on and so forth. Of course, you can read all this stuff. Uh, where it gets kind of confusing is how the state of Michigan and the federal government define dispersed camping. Uh, these are actual official terms they use. So state of Michigan dispersed camping means uh, just camping outside of an established designated campsite where federal government um, considers dispersed camping, the official term, as uh, a walk-in campsite. Uh, primitive camping, according to the federal government, is basically what dispersed camping is to the state of Michigan. Uh, on federal lands, you do not need a permit. On state lands, you do. The notable exception is if you're actually backpacking and overnight camping on the North Country Trail. Uh, you don't need it on uh, state forest uh, lands. All right, so different land managers have different rules about camping. So depending on the landowner will depend on what their rules are. If you go back to the North Country Trail tutorial, it tells you who owns the land. Find out who owns the land and come over here. And it will tell you the various rules that uh, um, uh, exist. So one of my favorite ones is uh, state parks and recreation areas. You cannot disperse camp, period, end of story. It is not allowed. However, if you backpack into a state park and they're full, they are obligated to find you a place to camp. And this actually happened to me uh, a long time ago at Taquamanon, and they stuck me um, in a playground. So state game area is another one. Uh, you can uh, camp during hunting seasons. Uh, however, I have heard a lot of folks tell me, hey, all I've done is went to the uh, state game area staff, made an arrangement with them in advance. So that's a very good idea to do. You need to do this anyways. You need to have a camping permit when you're in a state game area. And uh, hunting seasons, they're easy to get. You may have to, you know, Twist some arms to do it in the off season. So, um, and again, you know, you just keep scrolling. It tells you all kinds of different rules. Even federally designated wilderness, you can disperse camp or primitive camp, as the federal government says. Thing is about each uh, wilderness area, each one has different rules. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to click on the uh, individual uh, uh, wilderness area, and it will tell you um, about... Uh, its rules, if uh, um, if there are any. So um, here are some uh, descriptions and some uh, rules. So it looks like uh, they just have leave no trace at uh, Delirium, and uh, if you've been to Delirium, uh, you'll you'll notice that that's that's all the rules they really need um, there. So uh, going back, there's all the wilderness areas. Got rules about national parks, wildlife refuges, not even allowed. 
private lands, um, we have all kinds of land conservancies, nature conservancy, little traverse, so on and so forth. Generally not open to camping without permission. You know, however many properties um, do allow hiking um, on their trails. So uh, you can actually go and check out all the different land conservancies in the state of Michigan. So check this resource out, Michigan Hiking and Backpacking. Click on File, scroll down a little bit, and you're looking for where can I camp in a dot, 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 and it uh, lays it out for you uh, as far as where you can and cannot camp. Uh, so this document's been around for a while. We make some tweaks on it every now and then. So if you find a mistake, let us know. Make a comment in the comments, and since I wrote the document, I will get notified of that. If you have anything to add, do that as well. So uh, thanks for uh, listening, and again, I'm Tom Funk, author of 50 Hikes in Michigan's uh, Wisconsin North Coast Trail. You can get that on Jim Dufresne's uh, michigantrailmaps.com. You probably didn't even know about that. Did you know about michigantrailmaps.com? Jim Dufresne is a pro prolific writer here in Michigan. He sells all his books, and he's so kind to sell a couple of mine as well. So check it out. And I'd like to thank you guys and uh, come on over to Tom's Trail Tales as well and uh, join and uh, we can chat about trails there as well. So thanks again, everybody, for uh, listening and coming on over to the Michigan Hiking and Backpacking page to learn about dispersed camping and our files section. Thanks for listening. We'll see you again.